Recent news reports reveal that high-profile personalities in Italy have been among those targeted by phishing attacks involving the malware dubbed iPyramid. This malware has been around since 2010 and has been seen as recently as January 2017. In this video, we want to illustrate the effectiveness of Silence Protect and a number of samples of iPyramid. First, let's examine a couple of the examples. We can search on the SHA-256 hash of one of the samples. We can quickly see that only 26 of the 57 engines actually caught this file. We can also see that this file was last scanned by these engines on January 12, 2017. We can look through some of the details about the file. File versions, header information, PE sections, etc. Under additional information, we can easily see the first time this file was submitted by someone. In this example, we can see that the file was originally submitted in September of 2010, over six years ago. In the second sample, we see similar information. The file was last analyzed on January 16, 27, but this time only 20 of the 57 engines detected this variant. We can simply scroll down and see which products are able to detect this file. And just as with the first sample, we can click on File Detail and review known information about this file. And we can also take a look at the additional information to see that this file was first submitted on January 16, 2017, just about two weeks ago. Now we're going to take these samples along with 64 other samples and test the effectiveness using two different Silence Protect systems. Let's start with a system that's connected to the internet. We will ping Google's DNS servers to verify connectivity. Next, we're going to copy a folder from a network share to the desktop. This folder contains 66 examples of iPyramid. Notice that the file copy happens quite quickly. At this point, Silence Protect will recognize that the new files have been created on the hard disk and will queue them up for background scanning. Silence uses this method of low and slow scanning so as to not impact the end user. For the next couple of minutes, the video will be sped up. To detect and quarantine all 66 files, Silence takes a couple of minutes of background scanning. As you can see, the CPU load during this time remained relatively low. You can also see that we are using the absolutely latest version of Silence Protect. Now we will test on the second Silence system. Again, let's try to ping Google's DNS server to verify this time that we are not connected to the internet. Also, this time, instead of letting Silence Protect quarantine the files using slow and slow background scanning, we are going to create a new folder on the desktop and then use a for loop to attempt to execute each sample immediately. This will allow us to see Silence Protect's ability to quarantine the files pre-execution. We copy our samples into the test directory and then as quickly as possible execute the for loop. You will see that as the for loop attempts to launch each sample, we get an error message saying access denied. This is Silence Protect convicting each of the samples before it can even be executed. This time the CPU load is a little higher simply because we are attempting to execute the files one after another. As before in this example, we did accelerate the video slightly so that it would take less time to show. On both systems, we can see that Silence Protect provided 100% efficacy against these 66 samples of iPyramid. However, there is one more thing that is interesting about the second system. The second system is using a version of Silence Protect that was released in 2015. In fact, as we browse the file system and locate the Silence files, we can see that the Infinity Math model on this system was actually built on October 25th, 2015. That's over 18 months ago. The samples we tested ranged in age from 2010 until just a couple of weeks ago, mid-January 2017. This proves that Silence Protect is not only effective against older malware, but it is also effective against malware that did not even exist when the product was released. As you've seen, Silence Protect was able to predict the malware over 18 months prior to one of the most recent samples being seen by the security world. 
Ask your current security vendor if they can do that.